Hello, Pisces. It is May, and there's a lot going on this month for everybody because we're finishing up eclipse season. But of course, that is going to mean something very specific for you. And we've got so much other astrology to talk about. Before I get to any of it, a big warm hello. Those of you who are new here, my name is Maria De Simone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you consider subscribing and hit that like button if you like this video and the other astrology content that I have out there. I really adore my Pisces. You guys are just super, super compassionate. You have this level of empathy that no other sign has. And unfortunately, it's not always returned to you in the way that you give it, but you don't stop giving it. And, you know, I have to say you're, you fly very high in terms of vibration because of that, even if it gets you hurt. You know, my, my best friend is a Pisces, Pisces sun, Pisces moon. Uh, so I don't know if I ever mentioned that here on my channel. I have, you know, my my son is a Pisces rising. My daughter-in-law is a Pisces rising. My future son-in-law is Pisces rising. I have so many Pisces types in my life. I really do adore you. So I don't like it when I have to say something that can cause you some stress. But eclipse time can be a little stressful. Now, thankfully, this particular eclipse is likely to make sure that you land on your feet even if it does deliver some stress okay so let me say that it is a stressful eclipse on may 5th it happens in scorpio it is a south node eclipse which means that something is getting um something is ending something is being removed from your life but this eclipse happens in your ninth house pisces and the ninth house is the legal world it is education higher education and it is also publishing advertising broadcasting the um the way that you disperse your wisdom, okay? So <clears throat> in the mundane world, it is possible that a legal matter will end and that there is some kind of loss to this legal matter. But if it does end and if you do experience a loss, it is for your highest good because this particular legal situation has been very draining for you for a long time. And so it is possible that that is happening for some of you. For others, this could be about education. This could be about you feeling that it is just, you can't keep up with this advanced degree program. You don't want to be in school anymore. You need to make a change, okay? And, and it could be a sudden decision, sudden awakening that it's like, all right, I, I'm done with this. I can't do this anymore. Now, some of you might be graduating, okay? So this is how it could be good. Some of you might actually be graduating from a program with this eclipse energy. And that could be the ending. That could be the reason why school is ending. But whatever this is, even if it is an ending or a loss for you, because the eclipse is happening in a fellow, fellow water sign, it will ultimately be for your highest good and it will serve you, okay? So let go of what needs to be let go of. And I really think for most of you, this is about letting go of a toxic belief pattern, a toxic system of uh, long-held beliefs that are kind of holding you back and keeping you sitting in trauma or see, keeping you like re-stimulated with some issue that has to get resolved. So it's like you've got to reframe that and let go of an unhealthy belief system and pattern. And I think that's what this is for the great majority of you. Now, the rest of the month becomes absolutely beautiful, especially in terms of third house matters. The third house is all communication. It is writing. It is also the topic of siblings and it is short distance travel and your neighborhood. And this becomes a really nice area of your life. Mercury will go direct in your third house on the 14th. So the first half of the month is filled with confusion and second guessing your decisions and going over contracts and figuring out, am I making the right decisions? And then after the 14th, Mercury goes direct and slowly but surely you're going to realize that the path that you're going to take is the right path for you. And you won't second guess yourself as much or at all after Mercury goes direct. 
Now, a couple days after this, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, Jupiter is also your traditional ruler, will enter your third house. And this hasn't happened in 12 years, guys. This is a huge positive transit where Jupiter is coming into your, your third house. And Jupiter is going to stay here for the next year, blessing you in third house matters. So there could be some very real opportunity for you to travel a lot more. And it would be local travel, like, you know, plane rides to different states if you're in the United States. Uh, if you're in another country, you know how uh, different countries can be pretty close to each other? That type of travel. So local travel, whatever local travel is for you. And also, you know, train ride travel, long car drives. There could be a lot more of that. And it's very pleasurable for you. This could also be a time where you finally decide to write that book, launch that podcast, start your own YouTube channel, start your own blog, whatever way you have of communicating your thoughts and making them stick, making them... Uh, real so that you can share them with others. This is a very, very auspicious time for you to do that. Teach what you know, learn something new, not in an advanced degree way, just a curiosity way. Like, oh, I've always wanted to learn about this. And you go and you learn a new language or you go to a cooking class, you know, whatever. And so that could be happening for you. And if you have any siblings, your relationship with your siblings is likely to improve exponentially over the next year. This could also be that a big blessing is on the way for one of your siblings. So be on the lookout for that. Your neighborhood, there might be a beautification project or some kind of expansive situation happening in your neighborhood. You're going to be very happy to live where you live. You're going to enjoy your neighbors. You're going to enjoy your neighborhood more. That's all really lovely. Now, Two days after this, there's a new moon in your third house. So I want you to consciously use that new moon and initiate a communications related project at least uh, a day after the new moon, up to two weeks after the new moon, because it's going to succeed. Initiate a new contractual matter, new negotiation. If you need to buy a new car, do it after this new moon. Um, book a book a trip after the new moon okay you get the idea launch it use your astrology it will succeed now on the 20th mars the planet of action and energy will move into your sixth house space and stay there for a couple of months mars is action motivation but it's also inflammation so mars in your sixth house can produce a little bit of conflict between you and a colleague or somebody that works for you and so you might have to deal with that, but it may also make it harder for you to collaborate on a team project with somebody because everybody has their own agenda and nobody wants to compromise. So that could be a little tricky, but Mars here, the positive is that it is going to give you a great deal of stamina and ambition to go ahead and meet those deadlines and actually beat those deadlines that you might have across your desk. So that is always a good thing. All right, guys, I'll see you next month. Make the most of May's energy.